these are the things that we will require. I'm going to use a tape measure. It will help me uh, get the accurate measurements on what I'm work you know, working on. I will need a turning needle and scissors. This is meant for the finishings. We will use today a 3 millimeter crocheting hook. And the colors I'm going to use today are white, green and grey. So I'm going to use Robin 100% acrylic. Uh, it's a worsted weight yarn but on the lighter side. So I'm going to use this. This is color 1001 and uh, this is color 2061 and 1030. Welcome. We are going to make a slip knot and chain 21. So a slip knot and then a chain of 21. We are going to work into the second chain from the hook, one, two, we are going to insert the hook, yarn over pull through, yarn over pull through two. You insert your hook in the next chain, you yarn over, you pull through, and then yarn over, pull through these two. We are making single crochets. Into the next, you also make a single crochet. Now make single crochets up to the end of this row. Chain one and turn your work. Now in this round we are working into the back loops only. So make a single crochet in the first into the next single crochet make another single crochet on the back loop another one into the next and another into the next so do this up to the end of the row chain one and turn your work work a single crochet on the back loop here into the next work another single crochet on the back loop and into the next so work this row up to the end and then repeat this row until you have a length of 38 inches so this is what I did it's not exactly 38 inches uh, because it stretches so I gave it an allowance so that it stretches a little bit to add up to 38 inches. For those who want to know the exact number of uh, rows that I made, I made 190 rows of single crochets. Now we are going to join this band so that we can be working in the round. We want to make our top in one piece. So I will join it using a single crochet and then single crochet into uh, this side and this other side you join them and then you make a single crochet insert your hook here and into the next single crochet make a single crochet insert into the next and into the back here you make a single crochet so do this up to the end I'm done making single crochets so this will be our inside I will turn my work and then I chain one I had already chained yeah so I chain one and then make a single crochet here and into every row that we made make single crochets into every row that we made so in total you'll be having 190 single crochets slip stitch into the first single crochet 
and then chain three. One, two, three. This one works as the first double crochet. Now into every single crochet that you had done, work a double crochet. Slip stitch into the third chain and then chain three and work three double crochets. So one, two, three. Into the next, work a front post double crochet. And then work three more double crochets. So one, two, and three. Into the fourth, work our front post double crochet. Next, three double crochets. One, two, three. And into the next, a front post double crochet. So do this up to the end of the round. Slip stitch into the top of this first chain three and then make a chain three again. Now in my in this uh, double crochets that we had done we are going to work back post double crochets. So the first back post and then the second and then the third and into this front post double crochet we will work another front post double crochet and into the next three double crochets we will be working back post double crochets two and three and then into the front post double crochet we will work a front post double crochet so this is the pattern that we will have so into the three double crochets that you had worked in the previous round work back post double crochets and into the front post double crochet work another front post double crochet chain three and in this round we are repeating what we did here in the second second round of double crochets now we are repeating what we did here you double crochet into the three double crochets the back post that you're done now you work double crochets so one two three and into the front post you will work a front post double crochet and into these three you will work double crochets so one two and three into the front post you work another front post so do this up to the end of the round so chain three and in this round now we are going to do what we did in the third round of double crochets from the beginning this is the first the second the third so we're going to repeat what we did here so you chain three back post double crochets into the next three double crochets that we had done in the previous round and then front post double crochet into the front post double crochet that we have been doing and into these three double crochets you work back post double crochets So repeat these two rounds until you have the length of 15 inches and this 15 inches should be plus the ribbing. So you measure the ribbing and the repeat of this pattern until you are at 15 inches. So I did 15 inches of the color green which is roughly 20 rounds 
uh, and then I did two rounds of black and 12 rounds of grey followed by two rounds of black and four rounds of green now this finishes off the top part now I want to do the arms just like the body of this top we are going to start with a chain of 21 and then we'll single crochet in every single chain make a single crochet we are doing what we did in the ribbing of uh, the top so make a single crochet So work for 36 rows of these um, single crochets on the back loop. Now I want to join uh, this piece to make the arm. So I'm joining it with uh, using a single crochet, chain one, and then insert your hook into the front and the back uh, stitches, then you single crochet, align them well single crochet you align them well and then you single crochet up to the end so at the end we are chaining one this is the inside this is the outside and then I will single crochet into every row so that makes 36 single crochets because we are done 36 rows so make a single crochet into every row so slip stitch into the first single crochet and then chain three this works as the first double crochet and into the next single crochet of the previous round work a double crochet and into each single crochet of the previous round work double crochet so at the end you will have 36 uh, double crochets remember chain chain three works as a double crochet like we have been doing you chain three and then double crochet into the next chain uh, the next uh, double crochet that we had done in the previous round and into the next stitch and into the third stitch so you will have three double crochets into the next you will work a front post double crochet and into the next three you will work double crochets one two three and then a front post double crochet in short we are working the waffle stitch the way we have been working in the other parts of the of the top so do this up to the end in this uh, round you chain three and work back post double crochets in the three previous double crochets that you had worked so two and three and into the front post double crochet you work another front post double crochet but into every uh, uh, cluster of three double crochets that you had worked you only work on the back loops so one two and three back post double crochets and then to the front post you do a front post double crochet do this up to the end now we are going to do an increase in this place so this is how we will do it and into every fourth uh, row that we are going to work so we we are done the first row the second and the third of double crochets this is what we had done so into the fourth we are going to make an increase so I will chain three and then work two double crochets into the first uh, double crochet here so I will work two and then one into each of the next two double crochets and then I will work up a front post double crochet and continue normally working on each double crochet working a double crochet into each of the previous back post double crochets that I had done 
and a front post double crochet a double crochet a double crochet and then a front post double crochet now do this up to the this last cluster now into this last cluster I will work a double crochet and a double crochet into the next and into the next I will work a double crochet but remember we finished with a front post here so I will work a front post and into the front post up here I will work a double crochet so we have made an increase at the beginning and at the end of the round then you slip stitch chain three and now that we have four double crochets here the first one will be a front post double crochet and then these three will be back post double crochets we want to maintain the pattern as much as possible so we have three and then into the next you will have a front post and into the next three double crochets you will have back post double crochets we are trying as much as possible to maintain the pattern at the end of the round we have worked three back post double crochets I will work a front post double crochet and then this additional one I will work a back post double crochet and then slip stitch into the third chain of the beginning chain that we had done I then chain three again and continue with the pattern to the front post I will work a front post to these three uh, back posts I will work a back post uh, I will work a double crochet and then a front post double crochet now for this one for this round and the next round we will uh, be doing the same thing we will be maintaining the pattern now this is what we have we said we work three three uh, rounds one two three and into the fourth we make an increase we work one two three and into the fourth we will make an increase so I will make because we are starting with this uh, slip uh, front post double crochet I will work a double crochet up here it's like working into the same stitch and then work a front post double crochet down here this makes it an increase and then I will work double crochets into the front posts that we uh, the back post double crochets that we had done and into the front post I will work a front uh, I will work a front post so do this uh, make the increases I will show you the arm that I had already done so I, I made increases until I got to color uh, gray after I finished with color gray I stopped making the increases but it all depends with uh, the size of your arm mine is a little bit uh, skinny it's not bad to say skinny it's a little bit um, small so I made an increase up to I'm not really sure of this number of rounds but remember we were doing um, 20 which is 40 rows of uh, green two rows of black 12 rows of gray now at the end of gray that is where I stopped making the increases so the next two rows of uh, black and the last six rows of green in the arms I did six final rows uh, but the, uh, the the top I had done only four so in this six final uh, rows I did not make an increase but it all depends with the size of your arm so make both arms and then we start joining them now we want to join these arms and the top so that we can uh, make our off shoulder uh, I have put stitch markers into this point so I will show you how uh, I counted from the beginning the number of clusters that we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and then what I did three to my left and three to my right from the starting point I put a stitch marker on the front post double crochets here so it's three of these uh, clusters 
on the right and three on the three on the right, three on the left, and then I put a stitch marker in each. Now onto my top, I have put stitch markers here. I've also put stitch markers on this other side. Now I want to join the arms like this and sew them in on this side and on the other side. So because we left these three clusters and these other three so six clusters, it means after folding my work halfway and putting these stitch markers three on the front and three from the back and on this other side the same thing three and three I have now to join them so we have six and six so I'm going to make a single crochet all round joining these arms into the body of the top I'm now aligning them so I will remove the stitch markers of this side and then I join my work chain one and work a single crochet and then work single crochets up to these other stitch markers so you join you you insert your hook on the top on the on the bottom part ensuring that you align them well and then make single crochets up to the stitch marker Now I've done up to these stitch markers so I can remove the stitch markers now. I will leave this arm alone and work single crochets into the body of this top. So I will work a single crochet into uh, each previous uh, stitch that we had worked. And I will do this until I get to the first stitch marker on this side. So here we are on this other side. I will remove this stitch marker and I also remove this one and then I will join these two parts so I will insert my hook here and into where uh, my stitch marker was on this side and then make a single crochet into this and into that single crochet so I work single crochets up to uh, this uh, next stitch markers that we have so I have worked up to these stitch markers I would like to remove them now I will not work on the armhole I will continue with the body of the top and work single crochets up to the beginning uh, of this round that we had begun of single crochets. After doing the single crochets, I'm going to do double crochets all round. So I double crochet into every single crochet that I had done in the previous round. I have 194 double crochets now I want to reduce them by 34 so that I can get to 160 double crochets now this is what I will do I will chain three I've already chained three and then I will back post into the this first double crochet front post double crochet into the next back post into the next front post these are four we have done now into the fifth and sixth I'm going to uh, decrease them so I will back post halfway then front post on this one and finish off so I have made a decrease then in the next four we left at a front post so I'm going to the back post that is one front post two 
back post, three, front post, four, and then into five and six, I will uh, decrease them. So I go to the back post, halfway, then to the front post, and I finish off. So into the fifth and the sixth uh, stitch, double crochet, make a decrease. In this round, we will be chaining three, and then into the back post that we had done, I will do a back post. Into the front post we had done, I will do a front post. Back post. Front post. Into this one, we will do a back post. And continue with the sequence a back post into the previous back post I know we've done a back post uh, twice but this is what we will continue doing front post into the front post back post into the previous back post a front post here and a back post into this and then we will do another back post here because it's followed by a back post so we will do this up to the end of the round we are making the shoulder part and this is what I will do. I will make a ribbing like we have been doing as we did when we were beginning this project. I will chain 21. And then I work single crochets across. I will then chain one turn my work and work on the back loops of every stitch that I had done. So into every back loop I'm going to work a single crochet. So I made this strip of 160 stitches so that they can fit the number of stitches that we had done in our shoulder part. So I have 160 here and I have 160 rows in this strip. Now I'm going to join the strip to the uh, sweater. So I will I will do this. Take one side of it. Join the row into uh, the stitch. So the first row will go into the first double crochet. So into every single row, match it with a double crochet from the other side and then join them together now do this until you have joined to this end So I've done all round, I'm here, I'm going to join it uh, up uh, through the sleeve here. Yeah, I'm going to join. Now, take the first single crochet and join it with the first on the other side, the beginning chain that we had done. So just... Join it normally as we have been doing. My little man is learning to to speak. So he's excited. Ignore. Yeah. So join up to the end. So I finished joining, so this is our shoulder, this is it, and these are the arms joined to the sweater. It's a really pretty uh, sweater top, 
now if you loved this video please remember to subscribe and invite your friends share with them so that we can always learn together bye bye Thank you.